In this video, we will learn how to create summary tables. So here we have a big table of timesheet entries. It would be useful to group these records by month, by account, and by employee to see how much we're spending over time, by department, and on specific personnel. That's what summary tables are good at, grouping records by one or more categories, similar to pivot tables in other spreadsheet apps. Grist makes it easy to create summary tables. Simply click on Add New, and in this case, we are creating a new page. Click on the table that you want to summarize, in this case, timesheet entries. Click the sigma icon to begin summarizing. This opens a menu of columns from the table you wish to summarize. Select the column by which to group records. In this case, we're grouping by month. Let's take a look at what happened. In the first column, we have a list of month groups, January through June of 2021. In the second column, we have a count of the total number of timesheet entries in each month. This means that in the month of January, there are 12 entries, and in April, there are 15. In the third column is a sum of hours worked in each month. In January, the total hours worked in those 12 entries is 81 hours. Grist will automatically take any numerical columns and add it up for you, saving you some time. In this timesheet tracker, the count of records per month isn't particularly useful, so let's go ahead and hide it. Next, let's add a few more summary tables to this page. You can select multiple columns by which to group data. For example, it would be useful to group timesheet entries by both month and account. Let's go ahead and do that now. Add new, add widget to page. We're summarizing timesheet entries by month and account. And let's also select by the original widget that we just created. So when we select by month in the first table, it will dynamically update the new table. And there it is. We can see at a glance that contractors in January worked 48 hours in the food science lab. But perhaps we'd like to learn exactly which employees worked for which account in each month. Let's add one more summary table. This time, let's group by employee, month, and account. And let's be sure to continue selecting by the first widget. Now we can see that in January, Pepe worked 48 hours in the food science lab. If we select April, the tables dynamically update, and 43 hours were spent on the candy clinical trials, which were split between Pepe, who worked for 33 of those hours, and Rudy, who worked for 10. Let's do a little cleanup by hiding the count columns. And let's rename this page and move it further up the page list with a simple drag and drop. Great, but now we want to add the total dollar spend in each of these categories. That's simple to do with summary formulas. We'll learn more about them in the next video.